Did you know that you can use a Raspberry Pi as an RF transmitter? Using the RPi T Act software to output RF signals, now you can. With this handy application, you can output RF signals with no additional hardware besides your Pi and a wire. Using the RSA 306B USB Spectrum Analyzer and the SignalView PC software package, we can take a look at these signals output from the Raspberry Pi. The RSA 306B has some key advantages when it comes to characterizing RF signals. First of which is its capability to analyze signals in real time. This feature is extremely useful in capturing transient signals that may not be captured in sequential spectrum analyzers. With RPi TX set up on your Pi of choice, we can have it generate a signal of let's say 434 MHz. Based on the options given, we can pick to generate a signal with some chirp to get a transient signal. We expect to see this signal to be centered around our specified frequency of 434 MHz, but for it to slowly start to drift up and down the spectrum. Now, let's move to our SignalView PC software package connected to our RSA 306B to see how it handles this seemingly unpredictable signal. Now inside of the SignalView PC software, we can start to take a look at the RF signal output by the Raspberry Pi. In real time, we can see the output signal moving around the specified frequency of 434 MHz. Looking at the DPX spectrum view, we can see the running history of the signal. Looking at the real time changes in the spectrum view, we can see that the signal modulates in a sinusoidal pattern. Another extremely useful feature of the RSA 306B is its wide bandwidth sampling range of 40 MHz. To demonstrate this, let's set up the RPi TX to output a new RF signal and expand our range on the signal view to demonstrate this feature. Rather than just looking at a small range of 10 MHz around our signal, let's look to sample a broader range of 500 MHz to 1 GHz. Right now, the Raspberry Pi is not outputting any RF frequency. Rather than having a known frequency output, let's hunt for an unknown frequency. We can do this by utilizing the Spur Search feature in SignalView PC software. With the Raspberry Pi not outputting any RF signal, we can begin to set up the parameters for our Spur Search. Running a Spur Search across this wide spectrum, we can already see that we have some signals breaking the threshold of negative 17 decibel millivolts. The Spur Search is configured to hold the maximum amplitude of every given frequency in the spectrum to make this process a little easier to see given the signal strength of the Raspberry Pi compared to all other RF signals traveling in space. Now let's activate the RPi TX software and see if any new signals can now break through this threshold. Looking very carefully, we can now see that there is a new Spur identified by the SignalView PC software. Did you spot it? If not, looking very carefully, we can see that spur number 9 is a brand new spur, and it's at 800 MHz. Revealing the RPi TX UI, we can in fact see that the output signal from the Raspberry Pi was 800 MHz. Thank you for watching. For more information on the RSA 306B and the SignalView PC software package, please visit tech.com.